Hi, I'm Bridget and thank you so much for joining me today for this all levels yoga flow practice as part of the Well for Winter series, which I'm so excited about. Um, we're going to move through our practice today with the intention of listening to our bodies and moving in a way that really feels good for us. So we're going to begin in a nice comfortable seated position, just crossing the ankles and coming to rest the palms on the knees. We'll sit up nice and straight here and draw the shoulders away from the ears and we're going to take a few neck stretches. So we'll drop the right ear down towards the right shoulder, keeping the shoulders drawing away from the ears and breathing into the left side of the neck. And exhale, dropping the chin towards the chest. Breathing into the back of the neck. And exhale, we take it to the other side, dropping the left ear down towards the left shoulder, breathing into the right side of the neck here. And exhale, we return to center. Cool, so we're going to bring our right palm down by the side of our body here, and inhale, reach the left arm over towards the right side of the room opening up through that left side body, breathing deeply into that sensation, nice big stretch and exhale we bring it up and through center over to the other side stretching with our right fingertips over towards the left side of the room here using that left arm as support as we open up for the right body. And exhale bringing it back to center okay so we're going to come to our tabletop position now so coming to the side of our mat we're going to set ourselves up with the shoulders stacked above the wrists and the hip points stacked above the knees we're going to keep a nice long line from the top of the head all the way down to the tailbone so the shoulders are drawing away from the ears and want to keep a nice straight line here we're going to breathe through a few rounds of cat-cow here. So we're going to reach the tailbone up, drop through the belly and look up, inhale. And exhale, curl the tailbone under, arch through the spine and let the top of the head drop down towards the mat. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. exhale we come back to our tabletop center position so from here we're just going to walk the palms forward an inch or two curl the toes under and let the hips drop back down towards the heels we're going to press through the arms and press back to come into our downward facing dog stretching through the backs of the legs arms are strong here Shoulders are still drawing away from the ears and we're keeping that spine nice and long. So you can bend the knees as much as you need to here. You can pedal out the feet, a nice stretch in the back of the legs. One more breath. And exhale, dropping the knees back down. We come back to our tabletop position and we cross our left ankle over the right, walking the palms back. Through our seated position, we're going to come to lie down on the back. So we're keeping the knees bent here. We're going to inhale, reach our right leg up, take that right ankle and cross it over in front of the left knee. We're going to press our right knee away from the body here and you should feel a really nice external hip rotation in that right hip joint. If you want to take this a little bit further, we can reach through with our hands and interlace them behind the left leg, drawing both legs back towards the body. And this is going to make the stretch a lot more intense, so this is a really great place to practice listening to your body, moving in a way that feels good for you today. And exhale, we'll release. Bringing it back to center, we're going to take it to the other side. 
inhale reaching that left leg up taking the left ankle and crossing it in front of the right knee pressing that left knee away from the body here and you should feel that nice stretch in the left hip joint either staying here or reaching the fingertips through to interlace behind the right leg drawing both legs back towards the body breathing into the sensation and we'll release now if you have any more movements that you feel like you would like to make in your body I would encourage you to do that now Otherwise, we're going to begin closing our practice as we extend the legs out long, the arms come to rest beside our body, palms face up. Letting the eyes shut down, we come to our Shavasana to close our practice. Relaxing all tension from the face and the shoulders. Relaxing the arms all the way down to the fingertips, breathing along the length of the spine, down to the hips, through the thighs, the knees, the calves, all the way down to the toes, letting the body melt into the floor and just acknowledging, just noticing how you feel now, maybe compared to how you felt at the beginning of the practice. Letting the breath return to normal. And you can either stay here, otherwise we're going to bend the knees and roll over to the right side of our body, slowly pressing up back into our seated position. So that was just a really quick sequence um, and it's one that you can incorporate into a day at any time. You don't need an hour to practice yoga. It really is just about taking that time to set aside to reconnect to the breath, the body and the mind and it really does make such a big difference. Um, I really hope that you feel amazing after that little practice um, and thank you so much for joining me.